Okay, to begin my baby poncho, this poncho could be made anywhere from the baby all the way to adult. For an adult, you would just need to add more rows until it, it measures the desired length uh, that you want. Uh, I'm just using an acrylic um, medium worsted yarn. I'm using the uh, Red Hard Super Saver, and this color is called Lemon, which I just love this color. And then I'm just using their white, also the white acrylic super saver yarn. Um, and it's just called white. So you can use any colors you want. You can also use more than two colors. You can make it in a solid color. What it's all up to you. You could either do rainbow if you have a bunch of different yarn that you want to use up baby yarn. It's a perfect project. For this, I'm going to use a size H hook. Um, the pink, this one was done in a size J hook. Um, so it can, comes out a little bit bigger. It's up to you. So to begin our crochet, if you were going to do it for an adult, definitely use a size J hook. The other ones would be too small. Um, so to begin, we're going to do a uh, lip, slip loop. Wrap my yarn around my finger, pull it off, and begin with our slip loop there. Okay. To begin our foundation, the beginning is the most important row, and um, we're going to do three chains. So I wrap my hook around my, uh, excuse me, wrap my yarn around my hook, and then you're going to do three chains. One, two, three. So we have our three chains there. Now here we're, we need to have. We're going to work into our very first chain. I'm going to wrap my hook around my yarn and do two double crochets into that um, space. So if you put my hook in there. Now I'll have three loops of yarn on my hook. I'll pull through two, then pull through the other two. And our first two chains here count as one double crochet. So uh, now I'm going to do one more double crochet in there in our first chain and so this would be the equivalent of having three double crochets one two three okay now I'm going to chain three one two three and I'm going to go back into that same first chain and do three double crochets so you might have to fold that little tail yarn out of the way so it's one and three so this is the beginning the foundation row okay so we began with three chains and then I went back and double crocheted into the first chain two double crochets my first two chain stitches counted as one double crochet, so that would be three double crochets. I chained three, one, two, three, and then I did three more double crochet into that first chain. So this is what it should look like. Okay, it doesn't look like much right now, but that's what it should look like. Now to go up to my next row, every this is going to repeat the same in each row. To go up, I'm going to chain two, one, two. Then I'm going to flip my work over, so I'm always working from the right side to the left. If you're left-handed, I guess it would be the opposite. And then here, when we go up on the corner, on these, on our right-hand corner, we're always going to do our first stitch, our first double crochet into that first little space. Okay, so onto that space here, and these two chains count as our first double crochet. So here, I'm going to do two double crochets in that space. And I will wrap my yarn around my hook, stick it in there, in my first chain, I'll have two loops, go through two, then to my next two. One more time, wrap through two, then to two. So now, this is my three double crochet little um, sequence there. To get, I only want to work in these spaces here, so now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to skip these bottom spaces and work only in this space here, my spaces. I'm going to do three double crochets in that space. One, remember our double crochet, we wrap our yarn around our hook, go in there and pull it out, three loops left, pull through the first two, 
then through the second two. That's our second. One more time. Okay. So now I have this much. Now in the middle, every time we're here, when I call the middle, I mean like in our little uh, triangle point, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. In between these spaces, I only chain two. In between the point here, I chain three. And now I'm going to go back into the same space and do three more double crochets. Two, three. So this is what I mean by the point. It's like the little tip of your triangle. So now to move into my next space here, I'm going to chain two, one, two, because remember we're on top of here and we're skipping these. And on the edges here is the only place where we're going to do our, our three double crochets are going to go on top of that first space here. One, two, and my second chain there is where my hook is going to go. So I wrap my yarn around my hook, stick it in there, pull it out, and here is where I'm going to do three double crochets for our edges. So this is how your work should be looking. Okay? And we're going to repeat this for as many rows as you want. You're going to change yarn when you change your color. If you're going to change color, if you can do it all this other color, then you would change it here in the corners. Okay? So here I have my first my first row, my second row to begin, and now to go up to my next row, I do this very same thing, chain two, one, two, flip my work over on um, my very first space here, that space there, I'm going to have two more double crochets because my first two chain spaces count as a double crochet, so there's one, two, three, I'm going to chain two, remember we want to skip this part. And I'm going to make all my stitches in these spaces now. The only time I work on top of the chain is on the edges here. Okay? In between that, we go into the spaces that we created by doing our chain two or our chain three. So here's my second double crochet, then my third. There. Now I chain two, one, two. Sorry, don't hit dogs. And then here, I'm going to double crochet three in here. One, two, three. In the top, remember when we're at the top point, you chain three. One, two, three, because you want to keep that triangle shape. And then we go back into that same space and chain three once again. Two. Chain two. Remember, we chain two on top. Do three double crochets here. Two and three. We're going to chain two. One, two. And now we're back in the corners, and these are the edges here where we work on top of that second chain there. So on our first post, one, two, that's where I'm going to stick my you know, my hook in there and do my three double crochets. You repeat this for as many rows as you want. I'm going to do one more row of yellow and then I'm going to switch colors to the white. You can switch colors uh, as often as you like. Just make sure that you switch them here so it doesn't look weird. So that is what the shape is going to be okay so that is that's pretty much it you just continue that i'm going to do one more row of white of yellow then i'm going to change over to the white i'll show you how i change the colors and then you would just continue working rows and alternating colors until you get your desired measurement okay okay here i'm coming to my fourth row where i'm going to change my 
color. So what I did is that I, on my first chain here, I did the first two double crochets. And now for my third double crochet, in order to change my color, I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook. I'm going to go in through there and I'm going to pull through the first two, leaving those second two unworked. And then I'm going to get my white yarn. And instead of pulling the yellow through, I'm going to pull the white through. I'm going to tighten my yellow here. And here. Sorry about that. I'm going to cut my. I'm going to cut off my yellow yarn and the white one here. I'm going to the tail. I'm going to make it a little shorter so that I could hide them in my work. So now I've changed my color to my white yarn, and then I'm going to chain two, one, two, flip my work over, and I'm going to start doing my um, double crochets into my first stitch. What I do here is I, I kind of twist my yarn there and I'm going to hide them or bury them into my work there. So if you have a different way of changing your colors, you can do that. So here's, that one's counting as one, two, so it's kind of buried in there. I'm going to do my two chains and then you just continue working. So you just continue doing as many rows as you need to get your work to measure the correct amount for your baby poncho. Let me show you this one. Let me take off. I just did my little string here to tie it together. But you can see this is what it looks like. It's just that triangle that we're working on. And it's just getting, um, your work just starts getting bigger and bigger. And then when you finish it, you're going to fold it over on itself, right? Then this, I had a little uh, piece of yarn here, but what I do is that I pull this back to create the neckline there. And then if you want, you could tie this down or you could leave it loose. It's up to you. We're going to add fringe and then our little post tie. So this is like the simplest, easiest little poncho. It looks so cute. In Mexico we call them mañanitas, which means mornings. So you just wore like a little wrap in the morning. So see here, I just started here working to change um, colors. You can do them any color you want. So continue working on that and when we finish then I'll show you how we do these little fringes and our little tie. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, gosh, quite a bit of rows. So you just continue it until it measures the desired length. This is probably for like a baby, maybe like six to eight, maybe eight months or ten months old. And like I said, you can continue making this as big as you want. I've done this same pattern. And I have made it for adults, so I made this for my mom, my sister, different people. So you can just do it as big as you want or as little as you want. If it's for an adult, make sure you use a size J hook and uh, J, at least a J or a K hook. Probably a J is the best. And the babies, you can go anywhere from G to J. This is a J. The one I'm working here is an H. So go ahead and do that and then we'll meet here to add all our fringe and our ties okay to create our little tie here this is merely just a, a row of single I mean just a chains and then with our little fringes you could also add um, pom-poms here if you want to have instead of the fringe you can do your two pom-poms either using a pom-pom maker or um, with a little cardboard there's a tutorial on my on my channel so here to do this, once you do this, then this you would just um, slip it through one of the loops here. There's measure it on the baby. Usually I do it in a contrasting color. Just stick it there, and this will become your clothes, your tie. And then you just wrap it up like this, and that's going to be your tie. So let me show you how I did that. For this, I'm just going to make, I think for that one I made like 50 chains, and I leave a tail here. 
I want to have a tail because I'm going to attach my fringe there, okay? So I do there, and then I want you to do, um, make your, ch your chain as long as you need to, um, because you don't want to make it too short because you want to be able to make a loose, you know, ball. Um, so here, I believe it was like 40 or 50, I don't know, but just make your long tie here. All it is is a bunch of chains, okay? Okay, so here I've done my 65 chains because I just wanted to make a long chain. And now I'm going to cut a long tail here as well. I'm going to pull my string through there. Okay. Now if you're going to make tassels like here, then you will just need to get a piece of paper or something that you're going to use as your template. Okay, because we're going to fold it over. What I did here, I just got a a post-it thing and it's you're just gonna all you're gonna do is wrap it around several times okay kind of like you were doing a pom-pom just wrap it around several times and it doesn't have to be this big it's just whatever you want to do then you just cut your string this is going to be obviously longer than here but I could I can um, trim it later so I'm just gonna cut it off of my thing here so now I have my what I need for my tassels here. I'm going to fold it in half and then the tails that I had here is what I'm going to use to tie them on to my chain, okay? So that's why I told you to leave a tail so that we could tie it off. And you just tie it on there and try to get it as close to the edge as you can. So there is tight on there so it just looks like that okay and now you're going to get a piece of yarn you're going to cut it off and then maybe an inch or so below you're going to tie your tassel and and it's really not scientific you just wherever you think it looks good there and just kind of pull out your tassels there, fold it down. And now here, these are not even as you can see. So let me, let me get this closer so I can show you what I do. So then you just get it there and just trim. And that is your little tassel. That's just how easy it is. And then you repeat for the other side, tie it on here with the, the tail that you left. And this becomes your little tie, your clothes and tie, okay? It's not really fancy. To do the tassels on the bottom of the little poncho, your mañanita, you do the very same thing. You're just going to wrap it up because you want to make them maybe two or three. I don't do more than four because it's a baby one. If you want to do an adult one, of course you can do a lot more. So we're going to do cut it there. And this time, I'm going to demonstrate it on the pink one because I don't want to, you're just going to choose how, you can do it in every single one. You can do it your solid colors and then your alternating colors. But basically all you do is get this, you're going to fold it like this with the opening here, okay? So you put your thumb, I put my thumb on here to keep the space open. I pull it out through that space, bottom chain and then pull it through, all the spaces, there you go, and then you have your tassel. Of course these are a different color, I hope you could see it. These I made them a lot longer, and see how I only had, I only used it twice, but you could do that um, white and pink all the way around. And then you're done. That's pretty much. If you don't, you don't want to. You you don't even have to put the tassels. I just did that because I think it was pretty. Um, if you don't want to have the tassels, then you're done right after you do it. But here is what it looks like with the tassels. And like I said, if you want, you can put them on every single one and just alternate your colors, white and pink or whatever colors you use. If you do use a lot of colors, you could alternate. If you do a solid, you can do it like that. That is totally up to you. You would have your tie done. 
your tassels done, and you're all set. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. That way you can be uh, notified of the new um, video tutorials I do. And make sure you hit the like button. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my tutorial.